Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is a TBR video for a readathon that I just stumbled across and it just sounded so fun. I was kind of just looking at readathons uh, um, because I'm kind of considering uh, creating one of my own and so I was just looking at uh, you know other readathons that are out there and how they're formatted and stuff like that and I just stumbled upon mysterious mayhem and I thought how could I not be involved in this type of readathon it's a one week readathon the last week of May May 25th to 31st and it is created and hosted by Skeleton Key. This is a new channel. I just discovered her, um, but she reads a lot of mysteries. So I am all over it. There are four prompts, four reading prompts for this readathon. The first prompt is skeleton. Read a book with a skeleton or bone word or image on the cover. And so I thought of this book immediately. It's been on my shelves for a while and I really wanted to get to it and this is the perfect opportunity. This is The Bone Peddler by Sylvian Hamilton. In the crypt of the Abbey Church at Hallowdean, the monks were boiling their bishop. <laughs> Doesn't that sound awesome? It is 1209 and holy relics are big business. Sir Richard Strachan, ex-crusader, makes his living dealing in such divine body parts. Being a bone peddler, he leads a dangerous but profitable life retrieving stolen relics, negotiating deals, and locating new artifacts. But when he is asked by the prioress of Holy Stone to help them solve a mystery, he takes on a job more dangerous than ever before. A dying man has been brought to the Priory carrying with him a rare and precious icon, but nobody knows what it is or where the man is taking it. Strachan soon becomes embroiled in a web of treason, espionage, and evil. His young daughter is kidnapped and tracking her, down, tracking her takes him down a path beset with danger and risk. On his journey, he meets monks, lunatics, pilgrims, whores, saints, and thieves. But it is when he comes against Reynard, Lord Sulis on the eve of the summer solstice that Strachan must face his biggest challenge yet. So that's the book that I will be reading for the first prompt. The second prompt is key. Read a book with a key on the cover or in the title. And this one I found in a little free library and I thought I would give a shot to. And it's The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I've read, I think I've just read one other Ruth Ware book and it was okay, um, but I thought um, this is a good opportunity to read this. Um, it has key in the title and on the cover, so it's a perfect fit. When Rowan Kane stumbles across an ad for a live-in nanny post with a staggeringly generous salary, it seems like too good an opportunity to miss. And when she arrives at Heather Bray House, she is smitten by the luxurious smart home fitted out with all modern conveniences, by the beautiful Scottish Highlands and by the picture-perfect family who lives there. What she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare, one that will end with a child dead and herself in prison awaiting trial for murder. Writing to her lawyer from prison, she struggles to explain the events that led to her incarceration. It wasn't just the constant surveillance from the cameras installed around the house or the malfunctioning technology that woke her up with booming music in the middle of the night and turned the lights off at the worst possible time. It wasn't just the girls who turned out to be a far cry from the model children she met at her interview. It wasn't even the way she was left alone for weeks at a time with no other adults around apart from the enigmatic handyman, Jack Grant. It was everything. She knows she's made mistakes. She's not innocent by any means, but she's not guilty, at least not of murder, which means someone else is. Now this one, um, as far as I remember, is kind of loosely based maybe on that Henry James book, The Turn of the Screw. Is that the name of it? Anyway, this is the, my, my pick for the key prompt. The third prompt is mysterious. Read a book with a mystery or puzzle. And basically that just means I can read any mystery book that I want. So I grabbed this one off my TBR cart because I've been wanting to read this for a while. And this is A Quiet Life in the Country 
by T.E. Kinsey. This is the first in the Lady Hardcastle mystery series, and this is a um, Edwardian historical mystery, and I've been really enjoying mysteries set in the Edwardian time period. Lady Emily Hardcastle is an eccentric widow with a secret past. Florence Armstrong, her maid and confidant, is an expert in martial arts. The year is 1908, and they've just moved from London to the country, hoping for a quiet life. But it is not long before Lady Hardcastle is forced out of her self-imposed retirement. There's a dead body in the woods, and the police are on the wrong scent. Lady Hardcastle makes some inquiries of her own, and it seems she knows a surprising amount about crime investigation. As Lady Hardcastle and Flo delve deeper into rural rivalries and resentment, they uncover a web of intrigue that extends far beyond the village. With almost no one free from suspicion, they can be certain of only one fact. There is no such thing as a quiet life in the country. I really like this cover too. I think that's fantastic. All right, so that was the third prompt. The fourth reading prompt is Mayhem. Read a book that represents chaos to you. So again, I went to my TBR cart and I grabbed The Royalist by S.J. Dees. This is another historical mystery set during um, the Civil War um, and Cromwell, the time of Cromwell. And I thought that that is like, that era is, I think, a hugely chaotic era. You know, they they have killed the king, um, the country has broken into civil war, and as I recall, you know, life in the camps of Cromwell's armies was utter chaos. Um, everything about this time period is chaotic, so I thought this was the perfect fit. William Falkland owes Cromwell his life. To repay the debt, he must hunt a killer. Falkland fought for the king. Now he awaits execution. Yet, when he is led out of Newgate Prison with a sack over his head, he is not taken to the gallows, but to Oliver Cromwell himself. Now more than ever, Cromwell needs a man of conscience. Mysterious deaths are sweeping the camp of his new model army, and in return for his freedom, Falkland must uncover the truth. As he delves into the troubled world of the resting soldiers, Falkland unearths secrets so dark he struggles to prove their existence. Surrounded yet alone, the noose around Falkland's neck begins to tighten. So that's my choice for mayhem. There is a fifth prompt, and this is an activity prompt, and it's just to solve a puzzle. And this can be any kind of a puzzle you like. It could be a word puzzle, it could be a Sudoku. I really like jigsaw puzzles, and I have one I've just started. Um, so I, I might continue that for this, or I may be on to a new puzzle, but I, I believe that my activity will be to solve a jigsaw puzzle. All right, so that's the uh, Mysterious Mayhem Readathon one week at the end of May. Do you think you might want to join us? Uh, it's a really fun readathon, and I'm like, there's no reason why you couldn't, you know, combine these prompts, right? Like the Mysterious prompt, read a book with a mystery or a puzzle. If any of the, uh, your other books are mysteries, then you can combine those two prompts. Um, I just think it's fun, uh, and so I'm, I'm glad that I found this. Um, this re readathon. I'm going to link to the announcement video from Skeleton Key in the description below and up in the cards. So please go check it out and I will see you for another video soon. Bye.